this is the war for me, the freestyle. All right. Now, this is a battling tune. When I say battle, I mean in a responsible way. Where we fight for ourselves in this world. I mean, the battle that takes place in your mind when you're trying to survive, when you're trying to cope with everything that life throws at you. The mentality you have inside when you are in battling mode. When you're trying to keep the cohesion in your thoughts and you are fighting for your survival in that sense. Yeah, this is what the war is. And that's why I say this is the war I go out on. This is the war for me. If there's any war that makes sense, it's the battle for your mind. If that battle starts... Every man must be willing to go out on that. Yeah, so that's what this is about for me. Let me run the track. Yeah. Uh, uh, charge. Yeah, it's the war for me. Written around, I would say, May 2020. So, what kind of war are we talking about here? Yeah, the battle, the battle for your soul, if you like. Anything that exists, that you know exists, but has no physical manifestation, must be soul. If it's not a soul, then it's a gateway to that. Let's say the eyes are the gateway to your soul, but what does that mean? In fact, in real life, it means that the light that comes off objects hits your eye, your retina, it goes into your visual cortex, and then you think to yourself, yeah, ah, I'm betting that, that if I was to go and see and touch what my eyes are looking at, I will find exactly what I'm pertaining to be in my visual cortex. Yo, that's all imaginary and imagined because now it's in a form that has no physical emergence. So, this is the war that we're talking about. My right to see things the way that I think they are. So I wasn't going to let nobody take to me what I should believe in and how I should live my life. So the war is like this. I know if I stand my ground and fight for my rights, you will be upset. Everybody will. All the narcissists, megalomaniacs in this world will be upset. But this war, I don't give a damn about that. What I think is the most high, what I think is right, that counts. That's what that counts. That's what counts in my mind. Sorry, I'm mixing up my words. I'm speaking too fast. This is the war for me. I'm going out on that. I'm not gonna look back, no matter how hard it becomes. Even if we got viruses that can take man out. Even if they evolve into other things that we never heard about. I'm still gonna be me. I'm still gonna go through this. No one's gonna dominate my mind. And that's how it is through this job. So this is the war that started a long time, probably before I was born. I had visions of that. So I was saying to myself that no matter what the delusion that you have becomes, you must always think to yourself that, well, life is what I make it and so is my mind. Everything that goes on in there must be dictated to by me. No other man should dictate anything that goes on in my privacy, my intimate space, yeah, the only place where I genuinely am, the only thing that I know is happening now is what I'm realizing now and that is what is in my mind, everything else, even the light that came from that camera to hit your eye happened a split second before I did, the only thing that is now is yourself, everything else is past and future, the only thing that's definite don't exist and that's your mind so <laughs> basically that's what this war is about i'm like back in april may it was like it was gonna become harder but i was like i'm willing to go through this and i'm willing to fight harder i'm willing to stand up yeah and climb up the ladder and, <laughs> yeah, and just not all this na -da -da -da. <laughs> yeah Yo, i'm gonna be clear with my rhymes and i'm gonna tell people that I don't care what you bring to man. I'm going to stand up for my rights. 
when I think you're wrong, I'm going to think that. And if it upsets you, get the fuck out of that. I'm not going to be dictated to in my own sanctity. The only place that I call home, really. The only place I came into this world with and the one that I will live with. No one is going to dominate me in that. I don't care what they threaten us with, what they're coming with. And I must be fighting some higher beings because the way the world has become now, it's like they done in 2019, 20, 21, 22, and 23. And uh, they're going to carry on doing it. So I don't care how hard it gets. We must always be in control of, well, we're the target, so we must always be in control of that, and whatever goes through that is within the scope of that. So anything that's in my mind is my own making, yeah? So this is the only war that I'm going to fight, and the only way to fight it is within your mind, and you can't do nothing to them outside. If they step into my mind over the threshold that is... Well, that's outside and this is inner space now. When they step into my inner space, they get done. And that's how it's been before April and May when this tune did come. So that's what this war is about, was about, you know. It's about fighting back. That mentality you must have. You must always stay strong, yeah. I don't believe in this crap. I know how to bring it sigilistically. They're putting out symbols to make us react. They want to make us feel lazy, like we're dumb. They want to cause us to be sick of something. If not COVID, then some other crap. So I'm like, no, I dictate what I think about, how I feel, what I think, what I'm dreaming about. <laughs> I don't really dictate that one. There's some uh, disclaimers I have to make regarding that one. We we'll won't go into that. So it's about basically understanding that if I have a feeling that I never wanted to be inside of me, I'm gonna fight it off. Cause I just imagine that somebody else is broadcasting that and most of the time I'm right. I could think to myself that this pain that is manifesting in my body right now is coming from someone who's projecting it from outside. Then I'll open the motherfucking car and then look up and see a sign and it will say, it's a fix. And I thought it was that one. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what this war is about. Even if you fix it, I'm still going to fight it because I know that I can. I've got divine power inside and I'm not afraid to use that one. The way it's divine is that if you don't touch it, you don't do you none. So it's beyond the laws on this world, in this world, as you say, I should have said, on this planet Earth. So that's what the war was about and it's still about that. It will always be that until it's done. Charging.